morning, guys. Got my hat on. Okay, this is going to be kind of, um, well, we talked about this yesterday as in joking. We'll do the morning wake up. So this is my morning wake up. Got my coffee. My favorite mug, if you guys can see that. Can you see that? If you can't see that, it says the can. I can't even read it. Now it's half come off, and I'm so sad. Anyways, it's the Canadian Soap Maker Guild. My favorite, most favorite mug in the whole wide world. I've worn it out. Anyway, this is just sort of going to be. I don't know if you want to call it informative, ramblings, morning ramblings. We'll do that. Anyways, a couple things I want to show you. I got some fragrances I want to show you that are my favorite. I had a few good ones for, for upcoming Christmas I thought were awesome. Um, some products that I wanted to show you for the heck of it. So, and some more items, by the way. The DEA, it's warm in here. It's still strange. And on the back it's got like major warnings about inhalation... Uh, flushing of the skin, like a lot of scary things, so I'm a little, actually a little hesitant to use it. I've only, in the recipe that I use it in anyways, it's only like, I think a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I don't use a lot of this. I know you can use it as um, a replacement for other surfactants, but I just, the warning on the back just kind of freaks me out. So I don't know if I'll be using that. Anyways, a few things I want to show you. You guys know, I told you that I use um, tapioca starch, or modified tapioca starch, Natrasorb is what I call it. So what's called. This is it. It's like, woo, it's like a cloud. There's like no weight to this. So it's not like, it's not exactly, I mean, it's called tapioca starch, and I'm sure it's tapioca starch, but I've had tapioca starch that's got some weight to it. This is like super fluffy but this is what I was talking about when I add tapioca starch to stuff it just it's a nice fluff to it especially for the icing that I do okay bling bombs that I made the other day just wanted to show you they're rock hard packaged up not in the boxes yet obviously but like we're talking rock hard when did I make these just a couple days ago and I packaged them yesterday so it's a good mix. I, I, it's my go-to bath bomb mix. Okay. What else shall we show you? Oh, yes. The ones we did not yesterday, the day before yesterday. I can package these today. So, I don't know. Oh, I won't package them. They're going in a jar in my bathroom, like I said, because these are my babies now. But the smell. Not one bit of alcohol. I can't, like, honest to God, all I can smell is the sweet grass. And that is, like, the most fabulous smell I've ever smelled. <laughs> So that's those. They're ready to go. Okay. I just wanted to show you. I don't even know where to go first because this is going to be like such a long thingy. Oh, these that I made that have jewelry in them. I was seriously thinking of doing a contest because I don't know how to name them and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I thought they'd be cute for Christmas stocking stuffers because they have jewelry in them already. But I'm thinking of maybe doing a contest and having you guys pick a number. I was thinking a number, hmm. Shani, what's a good number to pick between for a contest? Three. And what? It has to be a number between something. What, what? I don't know, it's what I'm saying to you. Give me, a, give me a range of numbers to pick between. A hundred? Okay, a hundred and what? I don't know. <laughs> it's too early for him. Okay, I was thinking a number between, let's go a number between 100 and a th 100 and 2,000. Is that kind of odd? That's not normal, is it? <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that one later, but that's what I think I'm going to do with these. I have two. Two to give away. That's what we're going to do. Two to give away. I don't know why. Christmas time, something just... <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm going to do with these, because I don't... To be honest with you, I don't want to name them. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> it's too complicated. But anyways, it's the same same mix as these. I wanted to show you these. This is funny. Anybody who's bought this for me knows I have two versions. This is the version number two. I don't like it. It works great. I don't like this texture. It's, it's 
I mean, these things will last forever. I took it off the stick because I didn't squeeze it on good enough, but this is the version 2. I It's okay. It's great if you guys want to do it. I don't like version 2, but these are like bricks. This is version 1. I've got this one. It tells you how to use it. It's also hard as bricks. That's the back. I've also got this version. Well, it's the same version as this, but I'm saying styles. There's this. And I made this funny looking one. <laughs> and then we have Stitch. So, these boys, obviously I have to, if you see how thick they are, I have to charge more than these. So, but, it's the same recipe as this and these ones that I did. So these, by the way, are they ready? Yeah. Pretty close. I'd probably package them tomorrow because I stuck my fingernail in it yesterday. I can't do it today. Like, it's rock hard today, so. But this is the same. I have, that's just from alcohol. It'll come off when I spray it again. But this is the same, the same batch. And these were done. I did these with essential oils instead of fragrance. It's not as strong as when you do a fragrance oil, so kind of remember that if you do, if you do do it. This is also version two. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know why I packaged them like this. It's a bit much. I was trying to get as much information on here for, um, you know, tell them how to use it, what to do, make your wish, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's cute. I like it. It's just, I didn't need this back piece. It's, I was so used to the old ones being floppy, but... This thing's like concrete, so. Yeah, so that's the first one. Cupcakes are ready for the store. Just thought I'd show you. I got the packaging down, done. This is what I ended up doing. Label on the front, scent on top, stuck in, shred. Uh, where's the ingredients? The ingredients went on the back, typical. And my contact information went on the bottom. So these are what I'm having a hard time pricing, and these are what I'm having a hard time pricing. So there's three in a box. I think I'm gonna put these in the flower shop because the flowers and stuff, it just sort of goes. I mean, that's the only time I actually do any kind of sales, anything is at Christmas time. People come in and go, if you have anything for whatever, whatever, and they kind of flock to the table. So my bath bombs go and my soaps go a little bit, but usually the bath bombs are just gone. So like I said, this year, it's gonna be some different things. I don't know how many people actually go in and buy stuff for kids at the flower shop. But it's really like the only shop we have in the stupid town. <laughs> not stupid town, I should not say stupid, but we have a flower shop, a funeral home, two drug stores, which is amazing, a giant tiger, a gigantic food land, I think a gas station, two gas stations. An auto body shop. Now, actually, there's about four auto body shops, to be honest with you. That's pretty much what it is for big trucks and then for normal cars and whatever. But anyways, off topic, again. Fragrances. I'll be quick. I will try to be quick. I love Monkey Fart. Fragrance is my favorite. For the life of me, everywhere I went that I ordered from did not have it. So I got this. This was from Windy Point. It's called Fruit... Fruit... Fruit slices. Fruit slices? Yes, fruit slices. It's the closest I have actually smelt to monkey fart. It's a little bit more... I don't know, there's a, there's a slight difference, but if you had to... If you had to choose, I would say this is probably the closest thing to monkey fart. It's missing something, but... I still smell the banana and stuff. Okay. Also, someone asked me about colors. This is sort of just a, of information right now, isn't it? Someone asked me about colors that I use for my bath bombs. I don't remember who. I'm sorry. I've talked to so many people. I use mostly micas and lakes. The odd time I will use a liquid. There is liquid lab colors. These are from New Directions. So this is liquid labs, super highly concentrated, but it's, it's good stuff for, I mean, Play-Doh, lots of stuff. This was like the only red I could find that was a true red. And you can use these in uh, Mountain Pour Soap and stuff. It's actually a gel. You can see how thick it is. It's super concentrated too. I use it a lot as you can tell by looking at the gross bottle. 
But I like that. This is what goes in my zombie acid. This, because of that. It's been it. It just, it works good. Christmas fragrances or favorite fragrances. Do you guys want to hear about Christmas fragrances or my favorite fragrances? Well, you already know about the sweet grass. Actually, here, you know what? Here's a couple oils that I think everybody should have. Sweet orange five fold. Excellent essential oil. Uh, where's the other one? Did I even bring it over? Did I? Yes, it is. Grapefruit. Pink grapefruit five fold. Gotta have it. Just a few standard half to half to's. Aqualina pink sugar is gotta be by all times my all time favorite. Same with uh, the Manoli Tahiti Blossom. I actually used this tiny little, like, you don't need a lot, tiny little bit in my Manoli Tahiti. I actually have Manoli, Manoli Tahiti, like, what do you want to call it, oil? Yeah, I guess it's an oil. I have that actual stuff, and I make, like, a amazing, well, I should stop saying amazing. I make a whipped body butter, not body butter, a whipped body wash, hair wash, slash sort of thing. And it's, the smell is just, so I just, I love this smell. Okay, let's see. Christmas. Oh, watermelon. Everybody's got to have watermelon. Okay, these are just some ones that I, uh, I can't even pronounce it. It's Vedivir, 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 Velvetier. Anyways, it's a really, like, oh my God, over the top, amazing Amazing smell, usually in a lot of high-end products. Obviously, you can see I only have a tiny bottle because this stuff is, like, super steep. I'm not made of millions. <laughs> Most people I know aren't. Anyways, um, teakwood misc is really nice. Sweet grass, I already told you guys about. Okay, Christmas ones that I have right now that I actually love. Snow cherries. I'm going to make some snowballs with snow cherries. I thought that'd be really kind of neat. It's so Christmassy. So there's snow cherries, warm cider, can't go wrong with warm cider at Christmas, and warm vanilla glow, which yes, I'm assuming this is going to make um, anything go brown, and I don't have vanilla stabilizer, so I guess I'll put it in something that I don't care if it's brown or it'll be a dark color, but the smell is amazing. And then I obviously have mold cider and a few other standard Christmas things, but, and this one, if you guys can read that, can you see that? I haven't even smelled it yet. I'm opening it here first time, folks. Oh, whoa. That's kind of... Oh, 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 burn the eyeballs. That's nice. That's really nice. Very nice scent. Anyways, there was other stuff I was going to talk to you guys about this morning. I'm not as awake as I was yesterday, so I'm going to continue on my coffee morning. You guys have an awesome day. I may be back for more. It may be not. Oh, and if you see me wearing this in more than one video, I am I just finally found my favorite sweater. I do have clothes on underneath it. It's just cold in my house. I throw it on. I love this sweater. It's like having a favorite wooby blanket. So just I just want you to know that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a good day. Make the best of it. That's my son squawking. See you next time.